Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing this um, LEGO Star Wars set 10227 Ultimate Collector Series B-Wing Starfighter. The set contains 1,487 pieces and is ages 16 plus. As you can see, the box is huge. The set is huge. Get a full view of that. Very, very big. Um, comes with the name plate like with all the UCS sets. Right there. Pause it if you want to read it. Um, it's can only have a crew of one though, so I'm not sure if this is the scale. I, at least I don't think it is. I I don't know. I guess. I mean, but one downfall of the set is it does not contain any minifigures, not even a B-wing pilot. But even though they are coming up with a new B-wing pilot in the new planet set, so yeah, I just have a minifigure down here, kind of what the B-wing pilot would look like. And this set comes with two brick separators. Really weird. I don't know why it came with two. Anyways, um, three instruction manuals. Two. The first two were uh, very long. The first, not very long, but pretty long. The third one is very short. And you get four stickers with this set. Not a pain to put on at all. Three of these orange stickers. You get one extra one, but I just put it on there. Over there. And you get one huge sticker to put on the nameplate. Um, so there's ten numbered bags in the set. Really nice that there's numbered bags. Um, so the build wasn't too long. Really wasn't that hard at all. I think you get away with about being 12 for this build. So it's not that hard of a build at all. Anyways, um, so with the first numbered bag, you build the body right here. And the second numbered bag, you build more of the body. The third numbered bag, you build more of the body as well. And then the fourth numbered bag, I can't remember. I think it's this huge wing right here, as well as the fifth wing, the fifth part, the fifth bag is another part of this wing. The sixth bag is the huge cannon down here. Seventh bag is the cockpit. Eighth bag is this wing. Ninth bag is that wing. Tenth bag is the stand. So that's basically it. But um, there's a lot of repeats. I mean, I mean, like repetitive building steps, which makes the build not very fun. So you, with the with this, uh, I don't know, body, you build one side of it and the other side of it. So it's the uh, same exact thing except opposite sides. Same with the wings. You have to build these uh, in separate bags. And then this wing, you build both sides in a different bag. Very repetitive. The only things that aren't repetitive are the stand, the cockpit, and the cannon down there. That is it. So that makes the build not very fun. But otherwise than that, I mean, I don't have a problem. The build was kind of fun for me, but just the repetitive stuff kind of got lame. Anyways, you got four twin cannons right here. And this, this this one isn't twin, but then cannon right there, cannon right there. And the cockpit does open, but uh, it's not attached to anything, so you have to unhook this from this. You unhook that piece from that piece, and then you can put the cockpit off and then put a figure in there. Anyways, the cockpit is printed, which is nice. It has a seat in there for a minifigure. So, and there's a printed piece in there too. There's only two printed pieces in this set. Um, the cockpit rotates all the way through, which is very nice. And so it is this tread. The treads is a little pain to build because it's 36 of those pieces all over again. And you gotta attach it. Um, I prefer for the set to be on the stand or else it's very, very, very fragile. Because it, it can break. Well, for me it is. I mean, it's bro broken on me a couple times already. I know I didn't build it wrong at all. It's just these wings right here, they fall off. If you don't have it attached correctly. And, uh, yeah. That's the only bad part about the set. Otherwise, uh, this cannon is very, very cool. It's one numbered bag itself. It's very big. Four cannon, very big. Uh... You know, I, I like that build of the cannon. That was pretty fun. And then the orange stickers make it look like the B-Wing itself. There's one under there. One right here. And then you get an extra one you get, which I could put there. You don't have to use it, but, you know. There's not really too much to the set. Um, I, I would take it off the stand to put the wings down. But it's just extremely fragile, and I, I don't want to take the risk of breaking it again. Because it, it was a pain to put back together. So, um, I'm sorry for that, guys. If you want to see the wings open... And go watch someone else's review, but um, yeah, um, I well, I'll show you the back first. 
right here. It's got four engines right here. That's part of bag one as well. And then this rotating canopy as well. As well. And it, it just has a really nice look to it. If you have a normal size B-Wing from 2006 or 2000, I think was when the other one was released, this would be really good for comparison. It's huge. Like I said before, it's giant. I mean, if you don't have display room for this, you're kind of screwed. I mean, you ought to have display room if you're gonna if you're gonna buy the set or something like that. It's very big, a lot bigger than I thought. But with the piece count, uh, 1,487, um, it's just a lot bigger than it should be. There's just some big pieces on this set, even though the build really wasn't that challenging at all. Quite fun, a little bit, and quite boring. Anyways, the stand is just a standard little build, really exa almost ex identical to the Imperial Shuttle one. Um, oops. Anyways, uh, yep, yeah, that's pretty much for this set. Um, Two hundred dollars, in my opinion, is not worth it. Um, I bought it for a hundred on May the Fourth. Be with you when it was on sale, which is definitely worth that buy. And right now, currently on Amazon, you can get it for about fifty bucks off, and I still say that's worth it as well for the piece count. And that's basically it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Please look forward to the Hoth Lego base review coming next, and the Halo Mega Box UNSC Rhino coming next. Um, that's basically it. Uh, once again, this thing's huge. Um, if you find it for a good price, I definitely recommend it because it's going to go discontinued soon. And uh, the price is going to go jacked up a bunch. Because the Imperial Shuttle went discontinued last year. And this price is already $100 more than it retailed. So, uh, that's basically it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and see ya.